was game plan and you know, it's playoff football now, you know. And they're in the next round now, so the final is going to be important. But we get, you know, we're going to try the hardest. Is this the best we've seen the Rhinos for quite some time? Well, we're a bit, we're a bit forming, you know, we're playing with confidence and, you know, we're throwing the ball about and, you know, we're getting the results and it's paying off. As you did last week, foot on the gas after half time and, you know, you put, put the side away. A little blemish at the end there, but I'm sure it's something for you to work at. That's it, we'll put pride in defence this year, you know, it's paying off for us now, we've worked in training and, you know, we want to start, the game's bigger, finish the game's bigger and that's what we're doing now. Outstanding performances all over the park tonight. I'm thinking young Zach Hardiker there with a hat trick of tries, Brent Webb, Kevin Sinfield and yourself. Yeah, Zach, Zach's having a, having a great year, you know, coming from Ferriston. You know, he stepped up to the plate, took, took his opportunity with two hands and it's paying off for him, you know, he scored two, two tries today, we're awesome. Yeah, it was a great team effort. I thought our forwards were outstanding, but special mention to Zach. Uh, he was brilliant and uh, I'm really pleased for him because he fully deserves it. Thankfully we came here and got the win, that's what we came here for and, and uh, you know, we're, we're through to next week. Yeah, we've got prepared you know, next week. Good training and you know, just relax and wherever we get, you know, we've got, we've got a chat 80 minutes, you know what I mean? We've got a chance and you know, we'll be there. If we get there. Whoever gets club calls got a bit of a headache, haven't they? You know, you're potentially the lowest ranked team going through, but you know, on the evidence of the last couple of performances, you're a tricky proposition. Yeah, we're finished fifth, you know, but anyone, anyone comes from anyway, you know, it's playoff football and you know, don't matter where finish, you know, it's on the day. And calls again for your inclusion in the England squad, is that something that you're working towards, trying to put, put in the shifts on the pitch to draw the attention Steve Mack that's it you know we want to stay consistent you know and improve every game and you know I'm doing that now but you know next week's next week and you know I'm going to have a good training session good week next week and see how it goes well it took us a while to get here and it took us a while to work out our combinations and, and get things going as we'd like our skill levels improved quite a bit but we've got some intensity back in training with the numbers we've got back and um, you know this team don't want to finish yet we want to go as, go for as long as we can and, and hopefully there's another two weeks left for us this is the second game in succession now you seem to have decided all of a sudden I'm going to put my foot down and you blew the other team away. Uh, like I said, we, our intensity is a big thing we've talked about and we just need to be able to do that for 80 minutes. We, uh, for whatever reason, I just feel came back at us at the end of both halves and uh, it's something we need to work on and, and hopefully we can do it for a longer period next week. What about that massive following of Rhinos fans here? It was almost like a home tie for you. Yeah, they're brilliant. They've been great all year and uh, long may it continue. Um, you know, hopefully we can do them justice again next week. Yeah, definitely. It's always good to grab an trick in the playoff game. It's, uh, it's quite brilliant, actually. But um, for me, it's uh, the team performance. And um, we've chopped that game off, and now we, we can concentrate on the next game. And people have been talking about you and the talent that you've got for quite some time. I, I guess tonight on this stage, you've kind of really announced yourself. Uh, that's it. Stages like this are for young kids just to get that shot. Um, a few teams are letting uh, some youngsters uh, in their team and there's a few good uh, young lads coming coming through in Super League. So um, it's a great stage to perform and I've just really enjoyed that game to be fair. Uh, some of the tries from yourself and some of the tries from the Rhinos in general were absolutely superb tonight. You know, some great, you know, attractive rugby there and so, I'm guessing the fans enjoyed it. Yeah, that's it. That's uh, one thing when I, before I came to Leeds anyway and I've watched, on, watched them on telly, it's attractive rugby. Um, the balls that the, the give is unbelievable. That Danny Maguire and Kevin Sinfield and Rob Burrow. It's uh, but it's just uh, it's just great to play off them really. The, the line, you just pick a line and they'll find you really. So it's just really good to have those guys in the middle to uh, distribute the ball. Bowers, I think you know you know the last you know month he's been enormous for us. You know a lot of go forward and Webby. You know he, he's always been you know a great player and you know still is and you know with his skills at the back and his talk and you know, he's you know he's a great player. And, like. You know, across the board, we've got some really, really great players. It's just pleasing to see it's, you know, it's coming together and, you know, in the right time of the year. You often talk about momentum in sport, but how important is this little run that you've put together going into what's, you know, the game which will define your season and decide whether you get to Old Trafford or not? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, with the momentum comes confidence too. And, you know, when you're playing confident footy, you know, everyone's, you know, buzzing. And, you know, it's just been great at training. You know, everyone knows, you know, what their job is. and. You know, Max, you know, comes up with a good game plan every week and, you know, we're going out there and doing it. You know, tonight I thought, you know, it was uh, you know, a bit scary towards the end there, but, you know, saying that we got the win and, you know, we'll go in the next week, get back into training on Monday and, you know, concentrate on next week. Uh, obviously, don't know who we're playing yet, but, you know, I th I'm sure we'll be up for it. I guess that little blemish at the end there when, they, when, they, uh, when Huddersfield came roaring back, I guess that gives you something to work on. Yeah, definitely. Um, Obviously, we didn't finish off the game like we wanted to, but early on, I thought, you know, our big boys scrambled like, you know, great on the try line early on uh, in that first half. You know, had a couple of shots, and you know, we uh, scrambled well. You know, it was a good game. Um, you know, 
got to give it to uh, Huddersfield, a great side, and, you know, they nearly come back in, but lucky for us, you know, we held them out and we're off uh, next week into the to play into the final. Yeah, I think that's why uh, we're, we're coming together as really well at this moment in time. Everyone's having a really good game. There's not one player who's not having a poor game. So if everyone everyone plays to the best of their ability in, in their certain position, then uh, I, I can't see us going far wrong, to be fair.